Let's revisit Ryan Garcia gambling ahead of his fight with Javante Davis. Now, after he was knocked out by Tank Davis, do you understand boxing ego now? What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Now, I had to recap and remind you. Now it's time to rewind and rewind on my I'm in the position that I am. Change the game with damn Mill. Like Hove said. Yup. Now, I keep telling you on the channel, I'm the best in the business. I'm great. I know I'm great. Ryan Garcia got stopped by Javante Davis. Big fight, hell of a fight. You know, I guess valiant effort from Ryan Garcia. He, he wasn't the man. He wasn't the better fighter on the night. Couldn't beat him. Cool. But when I make these videos, people think I'm just saying stuff to be talking and bump my gums. That's not how this works. So the week of the fight, some pictures leaked and videos. I made a video about it of Ryan Garcia gambling in Vegas with Charlo. And I told you, I didn't think the optics for that look good for Ryan Garcia because how are you on the heels of the biggest fight of your life and you're gambling, you're seeing gambling. Like, even if you're going to do it, do it on the low. Like, why would you want your opponent to see that potentially maybe you look unfocused or the fans, like, I wouldn't even like the optics. I wouldn't want no, like, these fighters got to understand this is your career and if Ryan was saying that he felt there was moles in the camp and rats in the camp and this was an ongoing thing that allegedly Gervonta Davis had some intel and spies in Ryan Garcia's camp, you got to be careful about, I mean, I would imagine what comes out from your camp. So to see Ryan Garcia playing roulette or whatever, gambling the week of the fight, I thought it was in bad taste because you had never been in a fight of this magnitude you had a bold prediction. Bernard Hopkins and Oscar were talking trash about what you were going to do and saying Tank was scared and Tank is too small and you were saying he was too small and dehydrated and he picked the wrong one, second round knockout. And when that picture came out, I said my piece, like I always do best in the business. And then now with him getting knocked out, I think it didn't age well, but meanwhile, your boy Ego, the man with the golden voice, everything I said ages like wine. What they say, what old media say, what these other dudes that don't know about boxes say, it ages like milk left on the counter. It's spoiled. It's stank. It's curdled. Ryan Garcia gambling. And now, for the record, because I know I've been online so many years, making this money, providing y'all with content. Some people are going to try to take what I say and you know leap to another city another zip code another country with what i'm saying am i saying that ryan garcia gambling is the only reason that he lost absolutely not tank davis is the truth absolutely like tank said so this is not taking credit away from gervonta davis he's a beast he's a man that's why i picked him ahead of the fight i don't have to double back i don't have to change what i said i picked gervonta to win and i was right the point I'm making is simply that Ryan Garcia has a lot to learn. He's young and, you know, ahead of a big fight, people want to see you locked in and tapped in. That's why I didn't understand why so many people were allegedly picking him and betting on him. But I got a lot of videos coming to discuss that because I now see, just like Mayweather versus Canelo, when Canelo got spanked by Floyd Mayweather, easy work, hard work, dedication. When he got spanked, now the opinions change. There was millions of people picking Canelo until he gets spanked and dog walked by Floyd. Same thing with Ryan Garcia. All that confidence is now deflated because the outcome is rendered. So once again, I stand on it. I didn't think that the Ryan Garcia gambling picks did him any favors. And just like Keith Thurman, you lost the fight after that. Like, how are you an undefeated fighter? Keith Thurman, this is this is a very, history repeats itself. I try to tell y'all. Keith Thurman was an undefeated fighter. Ryan Garcia was an undefeated fighter. They were both in Vegas, entering the fight, the biggest fight of their whole career. Keith Thurman was fighting Pacquiao, and Ryan was fighting against Javante Davis. Biggest fight of your career. They were also both fighting dangerous, powerful southpaws. Manny Pacquiao actually was in the dressing room of Ryan Garcia, and Tank Davis. So that's several comparisons. Undefeated, in Vegas, fighting Southpaws, right? 
and they were both seen gambling before the actual Saturday night fight. That looks like a lack of focus. Like Floyd lives in Vegas. I don't recall seeing pictures and videos of Floyd Mayweather gambling before the fight. And we know Floyd likes to bet. Floyd Mayweather's like a monk in China. He likes to bet. Slow it down. I just dissed you. I said Floyd Mayweather's like a monk in China. He likes to bet. Get it? To bet. Bars. I told you, nobody can mess with my brain. My brain is too intricate. Anywho, it was a bad look for Keith Thurman. He lost his fight. And another similarity is Keith Thurman, all the other similarities I just mentioned, he was dropped in the first round by Pacquiao. And you look at Ryan Garcia, he was dropped in the second round hard by Javante Davis. So again, these young fighters, they they going to learn to listen to boxing ego. I've, I've been here before. This ain't my first rodeo. Now looking back in hindsight, because in real time, people say whatever. Some people acted like they disagree with me. But looking back, I don't see how you can't understand what I was saying. That's why you better hope and pray that I get my predictions wrong. Because if I get them right and everything I said comes true, then guess what? You're going to have to get the recap from Ego Stradamus. And I'm going to keep bringing it up and keep reminding you why I'm great, why I'm the best in the business. I stand on it. What I said before the fight is the same thing I'm saying after the fight. It was a bad look then, and it's a bad look now. Ryan gambling before the fight. It looks like a lack of focus. It looks like a lack of experience. We didn't see Tank Davis, you know, shooting dice and doing all this stuff. Even if he was doing it, he at least had the wherewithal to keep it under wraps. But when a fighter should be tapped in for the biggest fight of their life, you know, I think that's what it should be. And they should be fully locked in because these are the moments that can define your career. And these are the moments that can change your whole life. Imagine if Ryan Garcia would have knocked out Javante Davis. I mean, he would be instantaneously bigger. Just like Andy Ruiz had, like, I remember this. This is a true story. Andy Ruiz had less subs on Instagram than I did, my old Instagram, right? I had more Instagram subs than him. He was, let's say, 40,000 subs he had. I had way more than that, right? And when he knocked out Anthony Joshua, overnight, like in the next following week, he was over a million. That's how it grew for him, just off of one performance, right? And you see wherever he's at right now on social media. So this would have been big for Ryan Garcia. So hopefully he learns, he's young, and... That's just what I want to say, but I'm definitely going to remind you of what I was saying before and then so you can see it's consistent. So next time y'all need to listen to Boxing Ego, I'm I'm really the best in the business. People were making all kinds of excuses like, oh, Ryan, Michael Jordan was gambling. Well, guess what? Michael Jordan was getting six rings too, and he's never lost a playoff. Meanwhile, Ryan Garcia got knocked out by Javante Davis. I didn't understand then, just like now, I don't understand how you could even fix your lips to compare Ryan Garcia at this stage of his career to a legend like 23, Michael Jordan, and talk about Michael Jordan gambled so Ryan can do it. You're a hater and all this stuff that y'all were saying to me before. But again, we're going to revisit it. The other thing is Michael Jordan plays in the NBA or he played in the NBA. So that's a team sport. Boxing ain't a team sport. You don't play boxing. You got to be locked. You got to be focused. You're risking your life. Best in the business. I'm out. Introducing Super Thanks, right here on the official Boxing Ego YouTube. Super Thanks allows you, the viewers, to show a little bit of extra gratitude, which enables me as a full-time content creator to push out the content you need in the world of boxing. Underneath all the videos, you will see a heart with the dollar sign in it. You can enter any amount that you find suitable as a Super Thanks. A brand new interactive and colorful way to get your comments highlighted and noticed by not only myself, but other people on the YouTube platform. Super thanks, a unique and cool way to show and applaud us full-time content creators. Hopefully you guys enjoy the content. Super thanks. The future is now. The Hibernation Fives by Kenichi Bear. Hybrid gaming and lifestyle headphones. Out of the box, you can connect to any console or PC. Bluetooth ready with a low latency USB adapter, color RGB, and extreme bass mode. The Hibernation 5s adjust to you. Whether you need a gaming, travel, gym, or lifestyle headphones, the Hibernations got you covered. The new Hibernation 5s, link in the description.
Customize the way you hear the world. Welcome to the nation. Are you tired of your YouTube videos not getting any views? Well, consider TubeBuddy. I've used TubeBuddy for years to scale up my YouTube channel. Now we're sitting over 200,000 subscribers. TubeBuddy is a browser extension that offers a ton of built-in productivity and time-saving services to take your channel to the next level. Use my link in the description to get started with TubeBuddy and level up your channel faster. We work it.